What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial. And today I'll show you how to automatically update your Lambda function code with libraries using GitHub and CodeBuild. And in this video, I'm gonna use Python as an example, but the approach works for all other languages as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. Yeah. All right, so right now I'm on the homepage of the AWS console. So step one is to create a Lambda function that we wanna update the function code with. So just go to Lambda. Click on it, create function, and then give it a name. I would just call it GitHub to Lambda demo. We're gonna choose Python 3.8, and then I just leave everything as default. Create function. All right, so it's done. And now let's move on to step number two, which is to create a GitHub repo to host our project. So just go to GitHub, click on new. I will just call it GitHub to Lambda demo. Give it as public, add readme, add a git ignore. And then we're gonna choose Python Create. All right, so it's done. We're gonna copy this URL, open the terminal, and navigate to the directory where you wanna save the project. And then I'll do git, clone, and then paste the URL, hit enter. And then I'll cd into the project. And then I'll do code dot and that just opens up VS Code. You can also open the folder manually within VS Code if you want to. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna first create a Lambda function script. If we go back there, scroll down, we can see that we specify the file name to be Lambda function. And then the function within the file is called Lambda handler. So let's do that. Create a file called lambda function. The pi, and then we're going to define a function called lambda handler, which is going to take in an event and a context. And in our demo function, we're going to use a library called pandas. So we're gonna import pandas as pd. And then we will define some dummy data. And then we define a data frame. And we just print it out. And then print out done times one. And since we use an external library called pandas, we have to install it first and then include that into our package. So we're gonna create a file called requirements.txt and then specify pandas and we're gonna use version 1.2.1. And then next, we're gonna create a build spec file for code build to use. And I already have this written down before, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it here. But I include a link down below so you can have it as well. So one thing we need to change here is the Lambda function name. It should be whatever name you gave your Lambda function when you created it. So I'm just gonna go back here and then copy this. So what this is gonna tell CodeBuild to do is it divides the whole process into three phases. The first one is installed, and then we're gonna use the Python runtime to do it. What we're gonna do here is we print out what it's gonna do, and then we'll, we do a pip installed, uh, whatever library that we specify in the requirement file. And then we're gonna save all the libraries into the lib folder. And then the next phase is built. 
what we do is we cd into the lib directory and then we zip everything and save it into the root directory so one level up and then we're gonna cd out of the lib library into the root directory and then we add the lambda function script into the zip folder there's a typo here and lastly in the post build phase we're going to use the aws command to update the function code with whatever we have inside our deployment package.zip and this is how the file system works we have to add the file b in front of it and that's all we need and right now let's commit this and push it to github for later use And now we're ready to create a code build to connect everything. So I just type in code build. Open that into a new tab. Create build project. I give it a project name. I just call it GitHub to Lambda. And then scroll down source i'm going to choose github and if this is the first time you connect your aws account to github you have to hit this button to authenticate confirm i choose a repo from my account i believe we call it github is that one and then it's domain because it's in the main branch and then scroll down, webhook, and then the event type, I do push, because I wanted to build every time I push a new commit to it. And then scroll down, operating system, I choose Ubuntu, runtime, standard, image, I choose 5.0. And then I just let it create a new service role for me use a build spec file I don't have to enable CloudWatch and then create build project all right so it's done and that's one more thing we need to do before we can build the project is that we need to give code build the permission to update the lambda function and we're going to do that in the IAM row and the IAM row can be found under build details It's right here, so right click on it, open it in a new tab. Click on this policy, add the policy, JSON. We're gonna add a statement to it. I already have this written down before, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it here, but I include that in the link down below so you can have it as well. But one thing you need to change it here is you need to change this, change this on to be the on of your Lambda function. So I'm just gonna go back here, copy this on, go back to the row, paste it here, hit review, and make sure you hit save. All right, so it's done. And now we're ready to push a new commit to GitHub and let it build a new version of our Lambda. And right now, let's go back to our Lambda function and see what it looks like right now first. So it just looks like this. So if we go back to our code, push it should trigger our code build so let's go back to the AWS console go to code build build projects it's in progress 
So click on it. We can look at the face details. All right, so it's done. Everything's successful. And right now, if we go back to Lambda, refresh, the function code is updated. And because we have an external library, the package is too big. We cannot view that in the editor. But if we hit test, we don't need this. It should print out what we told it to print out in the code. It's successful. And there you go. This is our data frame. And this is the version that we specify it to be. And that is it, everyone. I hope you have learned something. If you like this video, I hope you can give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.